Well, it's the beginning of the season. There's always unanswered questions. It is up to you two to answer them. Fill in the blanks, if you will. These range from easy to difficult. Okay. The Cardinals, we will start in the NL Central. Their new rotation will be blank. They signed Sonny Gray, Lance Lynn, Kyle Gibson, all within one week span. We remember it was right when the offseason started in late November. Robert, I feel like you're ready to answer this question. I think they're going to exceed expectations. Okay. Ooh, I, I like that. Yeah, I, I, you know, obviously Sonny Gray, little hiccup there in spring training, but I, I thought Kyle Gibson, he threw the ball pretty well last time I yes, saw him. Yes, he did. He had a nasty sweeper going. I'm going to say the Cardinals rotation is not enough, okay? I don't think it's enough to ask a lot of 30-plus-year-old veterans. I know what they're going for. They want guaranteed innings. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if they have the strikeout stuff to get it done over the course of 162. They are going to rake. Their lineup is going to rake. I'm it's more concerned about the health of that outfield right now. Yes. No Tommy Edmond. Dylan Carlson's now hurt. Maybe a Victor Scott makes. Them. He's going to be the opening day center fielder. We'll see. And then Gray will start the season on the aisle with yes, a hamstring that hurts strain. Now. But we'll see him in a couple weeks' time. The Dodgers will win blank regular season games. Not that this really matters because they won 120, 23, yeah. 111 in 2022, and 106 in 2021. I'll go with a buck 08. Okay. I think they'll have the number one seed headed into the mm -hmm. playoffs. I think the Braves will be the number two seed. But I don't think people are really attacking that 116 at the Mariners. I think they're going to want to rest guys at the end, get guys ready for the postseason. It's the same song and dance every year. I don't think you get anything about I'm gonna trying say to go get it late in the season like that. This is totally arbitrary. I don't know. I'm going to say 103. Okay. Pakoda yeah. has him at 100, right behind the Braves. Yeah. Okay. We're all in the same range. Yeah. What matters is October. The Padres will finish in blank I don't place like this one. in the NOS. I don't like this at all. Finished third in the NOS. 82 Thanks. wins a year ago. Added Dylan Cease and Michael King. All right, my sleeper team this year is the Giants. I know we're going to talk about it a little bit later. I think a lot of things fell in their lap. I think the Diamondbacks are hungry to get back to the postseason, and I think the Dodgers are the, the class of that division. So I have them in fourth. They lost Snell, Hader, Soto, Waka, Nick Martinez. I'm, I'm going to say second. Maybe I'm just too high on... So Dodgers, Padres. I, yeah, for whatever year. reason, with Soto there, obviously it didn't work. But I, I think... You still got Tatis, who, by the way, is going to put up another monster year. I think Machado, he's you know battling a little elbow no, I like, injury. I like their team. Their, yeah, me their too. rotation with Darvish, yeah. and Musgrove, Michael King's nasty. So give me second place. Okay, Jeez, Soto's I not there. It. He's in pinstripes. He and Aaron Judge will combine for, we asked you this before the break, how many home runs last year? It was how many, Robert? It was 72. Right. Their two career high total equals 97. That's best case scenario. Uh, I'm going to say 82. How many for each? Let's see if we can uh, do math on live TV. <laughs> I, how about 42 for Soto, 40 for Judge? 40 for 40 Aaron for Judge? Judge. going to have 40 at the break. Ah, let's go. Crazy. How many so, for you? I'll say 90, and I want to go higher because I want to believe that this is going to be the year that, like, and, and don't count out Stanton dropping 35. I love that, 40. by the way. I'll go 90. I'll go 32 for Soto There's and seven. 58. For Judge, you're, you're low. You know, really, really, what a lot depends on this Soto's number. not a huge home run guy. Is oh. is ultimately the health. He'll be on of, base by of the way. Aaron Judge, right? I, I he think leads with on base percentage since 2020. Does one Soto? Blank will be MLB's next breakout superstar. I feel like you both had the same answer to this. It was Royce Lewis. Yeah, we both went with the. Because with, of that epic postseason, the two home runs. Why? He's What's got electricity reasoning? in his back. He does. He does. He's, he's a showman. Too. He's an entertainer. I think the Twins have a team. I, I mean, listen, I hated watching Sonny Gray walk out the door, but I think they can win the AL Central kind of going away with some of the superstars really? in their lineup. I feel yeah. like they didn't do as much as the other teams did. I don't think they need, truly needed you did, to. You don't think they needed to? Royce Lewis, uh, career Royce. 162 average, 39 homers and 132 RBIs. So, yeah, that worked. Uh, I, I'm going to mention a guy that I've mentioned quite a bit yeah, uh, last year, Nolan Jones. Uh, for the Colorado Rockies. 10th uh, in baseball in OPS last year. I think he had the second longest home run uh, of, of, of 2023. Most outfield assists in baseball last year. So Rockies got their work cut out for them. They do. They do. <laughs> they, you know, they're, they they're in time. transition right now. They're in transition. <laughs> okay.
I mean, we've been off the air for six months. I have opinions on almost everything. I love that. <laughs> um, we're out of time, but my next question was going to be, Gen Pop is blank, which is basically what your shows have been um, the last six months. Gen How Pop is a, um, is a blessing, you know, because it just builds up, <laughs> builds up that character and the calluses you. Yes, it, it, it puts some calluses on you.